Hi, in this video, we'll see how we can navigate between different pages in Xamarin Forms. I have here a home page. For that, I'll add a second page. So I go to the project, add new item, and select Forms XAML page. Let's call it page1.xaml. In this page, I'm going to remove this content and just go and change the title to be second page okay so now I come back to the home page and here I add a button when I click on it a button let's set uh, the text to be uh, navigate to second page and let's add a click it event let's call it navigate button when I click on this button what I will do is I'll go and invoke this code await navigation dot push async and here I, I should give it the, the uh, name the type of or the name of the page I want to navigate to in this case it's page one and as I'm using the await keyword here I should add the async keyword to uh, the signature of uh, the method here another modification I should do here is to go to the app.cs and here I should change this one to new navigation page and pass the home page as a parameter to it. If I don't do this modification then my application will, um, will run an exception. So let's try it out, F5. Okay, so as you see here, the button was added inside the Android project, but not the Windows Phone project. Let's come back to the home page, and you can see that's because the background is the same background as the, pa uh, the page's background. So I go here and change the background color to be blue, for example. Then Control F5. So now here is my button, I click on it and it gets to the second page. Uh, the title doesn't display on the Windows Phone project and on Android here is my second page with the uh, title displayed here and I can uh, either click on this back button or on this one to come back to the, uh, to the home page. The same thing here on Windows Phone, I can click this button to come back to uh, uh, the home page. So thank you.